Always seeking mentors was one of the tools and sort of relentlessly processing it. Another piece of it though is literally uh, feedback from other people that were just, um, I'm going to say like sidebar comments, like it's not actually what we were hanging out to do. I paid attention to how people reacted and felt when I did things um, and that kind of showed me, okay, what you're doing is working, so keep doing it. It's, I didn't sit down and say I want to discover it, but the more that I matured and thought more and processed my own life, then like my passions just kind of birthed and they were, they were always there, I just didn't know that they were there and I didn't have terminology or words for them. I discovered this by taking a course at Nina Wesleyan called um, Life Calling. In that class, didn't exactly figure out, but it was like a stepping stone towards figuring out my life calling. I would say it's kind of like a, a continual process, something that it isn't just like one day you have the answer and then you're done. I would say it's something that kind of comes along with a lot of time and a lot of different experiences. It happened just like through a series of moments. I discovered that I had like soft spots for certain people and those couldn't be turned off. Like there are certain people that I just loved and I wanted to help. Um, so I discovered it through just, I don't know, through experiences that I had with others, through different conversations, through just knowing more of who I was and like using my strengths to people. I think it took looking um, at myself from a different perspective and on a deeper level and stepping back and looking at who I really was and what values were um, that were put into my life from a young age. I think it started when, um, before I was a Christian, I knew I really cared about people. Like my mom would always say like I had a really big heart and when I became a Christian in high school, I, uh, I realized that I think that God gave me that, um, that big heart.